Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the Linear Quadratic Gaussian Control, or LQG. If you watch the videos under my playlist controls, you see that I published one video on Linear Quadratic Regulator, or LQR, which basically minimizes a cost function for the uh, regulation or the um, basically tracking in general. And I also recently published a, a video for Kalman filter, which also is called Linear Quadratic Estimator, which is an optimal observer. And all you need to know is LQG is simply these two things put together. So your system is linear and it also is a stochastic. So there is process noise and there is measurement noise. And in this case, you also need to uh, minimize a cost function for your control to get optimal control. So what you do is you estimate the states by the Kalman filter and then pass them to your controller, which is simply a full state uh, control, right? And use those estimates along with the gain K and provide the control signal, okay? So that's all LQG is, and I want to put everything together and show it to you along with the MATLAB demo so you learn a little bit more about this very important control algorithm. Okay, so we have process noise V and measurement noise W. The covariance matrices for them are shown by capital V and capital W uh, along the way, these two and they could be time dependent in general and uh, here the d matrix for the observation is zero you can include it in general if you want and you can even multiply this v and w by some gains as well okay but here we go for the simpler case the cost function has three terms the two terms that are integrated over time is the error weighted right and what the control effort weighted by two matrices Q and R in this case. And uh, if the final state of the system is important and your goal is not a regulator where uh, X of T goes to zero as T approaches infinity or in this case capital T which is the final time which we call the horizon, then this term also might be considered and since everything here is stochastic and everything has a probability distribution function instead of lqr where we simply minimize this term inside the bracket here we minimize the expected value of the entire term because everything is clearly what stochastic here with probabilities and matrices F, Q, and R are clearly F and Q are positive semi-definite and R is positive definite matrices, okay? So uh, what we're going to see in the MATLAB code today is a regulator where X of T goes to zero, not go to capital X of capital T, but in general, this might be the case for us. And in my case here, again, my horizon could be what? Infinite. So in general, it could be finite to infinite. What I'm going to show you right now in my MATLAB code is infinite, okay? But you can make it finite. So if that's the case, then this first term is not any important. This F is going to be simply what? Zero, and T goes to what? To infinity. Good? So what do we have? For the control, as I said, it's a full state uh, feedback. So u is going to be negative k times x hat, and x hat is the estimate that is coming from your LQE. Remember, in the video, I showed them with x hat of k given k. Now here, in general, it's x hat of t, if it's a continuous system, right? And k is the gain matrix that you need to find which in general is given by R inverse B transpose times S, if you watch my LQR video. And S is a solution to what? To a Riccati differential equation. Now in the video that I did on LQR, 
nothing was time dependent, so this Riccati differential equation becomes the Riccati what? Algebraic equation, but in general, everything could be time dependent. What is the D equation here? It's a first order ODE that negative S dot equals A transpose S plus S A minus S B, R inverse B transpose S plus Q. Q is what? Q is basically this Q here, this weight for the error. And R is the weight for the um, control effort. A and B are clear. And S is the solution that once you find it, you're going to plug it up here to find your optimal gain. Okay. And this uh, first order OD needs a time condition. The time condition here is S at the final time equals F. Now, if it's a regulator, which means we want the states to all go to zero, then here that becomes S at infinity equals zero. And since I have the S at the final time, not at the initial time, this ODE has to be solved what? Backwards in time. Okay, so this portion here is what? Your LQR. And you see when I solve for LQR, I do not use anything related to the Kalman filter. So my control is done independent. And when I go about the Kalman filter also, I uh, do what? I do the design of the Kalman filter separately. How? The optimal uh, observer, the Kalman filter, the dynamics equations for that is very similar to the system, of course. X hat dot equals AX hat plus BU plus L times this innovation term, Y minus CX hat, where, of course, X hat at time zero is expected value of X zero. Here, this Kalman gain L, here we showed with L in the Kalman video, I showed it with K, but here, since K is reserved for the control gain, here we use L for Kalman gain. That is equal to P times C transpose times W inverse. W inverse is the measurement noise covariance matrix. And P is the solution again to another differential Riccati equation given by P dot equals AP plus PA transpose minus PC transpose W inverse CP plus V, and V is the process noise covariance. And this is also a first order ODE, so it needs a, a time condition. Here, the time condition happens at time zero. P of zero is E of X zero, X transpose zero. So this ODE has to be solved forward in time. And this P, if you remember, is what is your covariance matrix, which in Kalman filter, we showed it with sigma. Okay, so once we find this covariance matrix, we plug it in and we get our Kalman gain. So again, you see that LQE part here, when I solve it, there is nothing about the controller here. So I do design LQR and LQE separately, and that's why we call this LQ design problem what? Separable. And the designs of LQ and LQR are very, very similar. Both involve solving a Riccati algebraic equation, one solve forward, one solve backward in time, and then using the result of that to find the gain. And if you look at those relations, they are very similar too. So the similarity is what we call a duality. So we say the control design and the observer design are dual of each other. Okay? So this is the whole process. Now, when the matrices A, B, C, Q, and R are and the V and W, well, all of these, when all of these matrices involve, they are not time dependent and they are fixed, and T goes to infinity, then these differential algebraic equations, 7 and 10, become algebraic Riccati equations, as I said, and the system becomes time invariant. Okay? And life becomes a lot easier. So this is what, this is the total LQG control. By the way, text and equations here are taken from Wikipedia. Now let's go ahead and look at what? Look at the MATLAB code. Okay, so here I have the system, which is inverted pendulum on the car. If you look at my control playlist here, you see that in one of my previous videos, I derived the equations of motion for it. You can see here the linearized inverted pendulum on the cart, and we did full state control on that. 
here is in nonlinear we don't uh, deal with that in this video here is the Kalman filter video I told you and here is the LQR video I told you so uh, now if we go back these are the equations of motion for linearized system the only input is the force on the cart and we have four states here x x dot theta and theta dot and the output here is x which is the uh, third state here because the order is theta theta dot x and x dot as you can see these are the ABCD matrices from this model if we choose these values for the parameters and uh, the first thing I do is I make sure that the system is controllable and observable so I form the controllability and observability matrices here and if they are, then I form my system with the state space command. And then I show you the impulse response of the system that you see that even if I give it a small, uh, basically, force, and then uh, set that force to zero, a small, basically, uh, shock, the uh, pendulum keeps going, right? Look at here. This is the X of the pendulum. It just keeps increasing. Look, in 14 seconds, it reached 10 to the 24. So uh, this is not what I want. I want to give it a small shock and I want the control signal to be able to bring it back to uh, X sub zero. So the number of states are four. The number of output is one in this case. First, I determine my noise covariance data, Q and R in the uh, notation. If you saw them, they were called uh, W of N and uh, V of N, right? And the order was backwards. So here I use the same notation that I had in my um, Kalman filter video. Q is for my process noise and R is for what? For measurement noise. Okay, so let me just add them for you here. And then the performance for uh, the performance matrices for the J, Q here is 0.1 times I of NX and R is simply 0.5. Now, when you want to use the command LQG in MATLAB, it wants you to combine the performance matrices into one matrix, and it wants you to uh, combine the um, covariance matrices also into one matrix. So this is what it wants. It says my perf uh, cost function is, it combines X and U into one vector, is x transpose u transpose times this matrix q of x u times x u dt so q of x u as you expect should be a block diagonal matrix of q and what r so we combine this q and r and we form this uh, basically in this case five by five matrix q x u also the covariances which here we might show with W and V here, it's of course what? It's a QN and RN. You again combine them and the expected value of them you call Q, W, and V. So if you don't like this notation here, I can call them for you what? I can call them for you W, N, right? And let's do a shift enter. And what? Uh, v, N, and again a, a shift enter. So now I combine them into um, uh, this matrix. And now that I have the uh, covariance of all noises and the performance, I pass the system to LQG. It gives me a regulator and it gives me the information for it. And that information, I can look at the uh, gain matrix of the controller and I can look at the L matrix of what? The Kalman gain here. Okay, yeah? And then I use a feedback command and uh, pass this system and the uh, regulator with a positive one feedback, right? So it means uh, the error is basically the set point, which is zero here, minus the output of the system, right? And uh, we pass it to that, and then we can get what? We can look at the behavior of the uh, system here which is here, you can see the uh, impulse. I use the command impulse and impulse of the control system. So let me run it one more time since I changed the notation, make sure that it's still running. So if you see here, clearly the determinant of the controllability and observability matrices are not zero. So it says the system is controllable, it's observable. This is the impulse response of original system. 
this is the k of the lqg this is the kalman gain and here nothing depends on time and this is what the impulse response of the control system clearly you see that it does bring it back to zero after so much time another way uh, that you can solve this problem instead of a single command lqg you can do it in two separate steps First, get the uh, K matrix, then do the Kalman uh, design, and then combine, right? Remember, we said you can do the design separately. So if you want to uh, do that for the uh, LQRY, the LQRY command is the command that is used for regulator design for um, uh, LQ based on the uh, performance matrix. And here you see this 0.1 and 0.5 are the numbers that I use right here for Q, R, and for Q and R. So you don't need to pass matrices to this LQR command, LQRY command. Okay, you just need to pass these intensities here, 0.1 and 0.5. Don't pass matrices to it. It gives you the K. Then uh, what you need to do is in this system that you have, you have two inputs really. One of them is the actual control signal U. The other one is the disturbance or the process noise D. So you need to, instead of making one input, one output for the system, you need to make it uh, two inputs, one output. And that is what you're doing here with this command. So the system N here has two inputs U and D and one output Y. Then you use the Kalman command. You pass this new system to it. And then again, 0.4 and 0.7 are what? these intensities of the um, noise matrices and you don't again need to pass the whole matrix to it and it gives you the system the control the observer sorry the Kalman filter the observer it gives you the uh, Kalman gain and it gives you the steady state covariance matrix P so you can see them finally you need to combine this the uh, Kalman filter and the controller by the command lqg reg it combines your estimator and the gain of controller and it gives you the lqg regulator which now you can do a feedback with the system to create the final system and here is the response of that final system again which you see again it brings it back to zero if you ever want to design a servo i don't do the example of it in this video but if you want to design a servo uh, you can still use the command lqg the only thing is you need to pass to it a fourth or a fifth argument as well here you need an integral action so you need to pass to it the gain for the integral action qi which you can simply go with uh, i of ny here ny here is one so it's just going to be a one or if you want this gain to be anything different than that, then multiply it by that. And then if you want uh, more than one degree of freedom, you can use one DOF and two DOF. Okay, I might make a separate video and talk about these separately. So here you can do it in one step with LQG command. Or again, if you want like this above here to do it in two separate steps, uh, the... Uh, servo design command the one that you need the gain the command is called lqi remember here the command was lqry here the command is called lqi this is the integral action servo design for lqr but this is lqi and then the Kalman still the same and then the way you combine them is not with lqr reg it's with this lqg track it's not L lqg reg it's lqg track so you can make a tracker and then you need to uh, combine this tracker system with what with your original system and look at the performance of it as i said i probably will make a separate video on the servo design here my goal in this video was the regulator and you clearly see that it does regulate the system back to a response of zero after a shock or impulse is given so I'll uh, give you download link for this one and uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for your attention.